Succeeding in business is all about doing things the right way. You need to offer the best products, services, and user experience while promoting in the most effective way possible. However, where there was trade, there was competitions. It often said that competition is good for your business. It pushes you to be your best. And part of the fun rivalry is stealing customers from your rivals. Often, the most brutal battles come in the form of comparative advertising, using humor, sarcasm, parody, and silliness to make fun of competitors. Seems to be a big theme these days. Here are some notable advertising wall campaigns between rival brands that you should not miss. The Burger King, founded in 1953, and the McDonald's in 1955, competed for nearly 60 years. They all claimed to have the best-selling burgers in the world. At that time, it was the period of the rapid growth of the American fast food industry. The competitions became more intense. In 1986, Burger King's first attack on McDonald's was actually aimed at McDonald's most competitive standardized service by ridiculing McDonald's as a highly automated but inflexible burger machine. While Burger King is a brand that can satisfy the individual taste of customers with "Have It Your Way" slogan. In 2002, Burger King strikes again by launching a campaign showing Ronald McDonald's eating from Burger King discreetly. Because Burger King's hamburgers taste better than McDonald's hamburgers, McDonald's immediately fights back with the commercials making fun of Burger King's. A group of little boys always grab the McDonald's food from another one. The little boy make a brilliant move by taking Burger King's bag to cover McDonald's food. Ever since, no one will grab his McDonald's food anymore, and he can eat at ease. It is simple. No one is interested in Burger King. Soon, McDonald's launched another commercials boosted about their presence with over 1,000 McDrives with an outdoor campaign, with two billboards beside each other, one directing to McDonald's with five kilometers away, and another directing to Burger King with 258 kilometers away. McDonald's is closer to you. Burger King responded by adding an ending story from the same commercials, showing consumers purchasing coffee from McDonald's to gear up for their drive to a Burger King. And thank you for McDonald's for being everywhere. People can taste delicious hamburger in Burger King. Halloween is Burger King's favorite season to grill McDonald's. In 2016, they dresses a New York outlet as the scariest ghost they could turn into, the ghost of McDonald's with a board. Just kidding. We still flame grill our burgers. Next year, Burger King launch another commercials again by trolling McDonald's with epic marketing stunt at it movie premiere. Prior to the credits rolling, two spotlights flashes on the screens. The first stating, "The moral is never trust a crown," and the second flashing out the Burger King logo. The brand's joke was not only well timed humor after the intensity of the horror, but Serve as an indirect send-off of the burger chain's biggest rival. Between these two giant fast food brands, of competitions increase over time and appear interesting advertisements and campaigns. After fighting for more than half a century in an unexpected turn of events, Burger King engaged McDonald's in another of its advertising campaign. But this time, it was not mocking its rival. Instead, Burger King vowed to stage a ceasefire. And promote International World Peace Day. Burger King proposed to Mac Whopper, one of the most popular burgers, to be sold on that day, with all proceeds going to non-profit charity Peace One Day. However, McDonald's rejected the offer. In fact, these are all understandable because all these years, Burger King only did three things: launch creative advertising, mocking McDonald's, and launch creative commercials to mock McDonald's. Looks like McDonald's will never forgive all the acts from Burger King. Coca-Cola and Pepsi were rivals, each other trying to dominate the carbonated soft drink markets. Both brands were undergoing global advertisement war through pin ads and video advertisements, trying to stay on top of each other. Here's the most interesting advertisement by these two big brands. I believe most of you have seen this classic advertisement from Pepsi. A kid standing in front of the vending machines. He first bought two cans of Coke to cushion his feet, just because he was too short to reach the button of Pepsi. 
and when he finally got his Pepsi, he left two cans of Coke on the floor. This commercial hints that Coca-Cola is only a stepping stone to Pepsi. Coca-Cola immediately responded with an interesting video by copying the same concept of Pepsi commercials. A kid is trying to reach Coca-Cola by using two Pepsi to cushion his feet. When he got a Coca-Cola, he didn't leave right away but instead he demonstrates a good courtesy by putting the two cans of Pepsi back to fridge. Then only he leaves. Coca-Cola implications. My consumers have better quality than yours. Here is another Pepsi commercial roasting Coca-Cola. A Pepsi truck pulling up to the diner on a snowy night where a Coca-Cola truck is already parked outside. The song Get Together comes on the jukebox and the Pepsi drivers comments that Good song. Great song. He and the Coke driver end up sitting together. They share family pictures and stories. And finally, the Coke guy offered the Pepsi guy a sip of his can of Coca-Cola. He looks around and takes a sip and gives it back and they laugh about it. Then the Pepsi guy offers a sip from his can. The Coke guy takes a sip, but doesn't give it back because he likes it so much. They end up fighting over it. Pepsi try to say, even your loyal workers like our drink. In 2013 Halloween, Pepsi created an ad feature a Pepsi can in a red Coca-Cola cape to attract attentions to its brand and make fun of Coca-Cola. We wish you a scary Halloween. The concept is fabulous and the ad went viral on Facebook and Twitter. However, Coca-Cola did a great trick with its robust response. It changed the ad's meaning and makes its fans believe Pepsi tried to wear a red cape for Halloween to be a hero, like Coca-Cola. Simple and effective response. Applause goes to the Coca-Cola creative team. I'm sure the ads put a big smile on Pepsi's and Coca-Cola fans' face worldwide. <coughs> if a car maker wants to advertise a shiny new car, more often than not, it will turn to the internet to create a viral videos to get people talking. That one year, Mercedes Benz launched three ads in a short period, mocking one of its top rivals, Audi. The first commercial shows a car is driving in the dark. Due to the lousy headlights, it requires four people to use torchlight to light up the road ahead, and the four torchlight, in a funny way, form the Audi logo. Later in the scene, one of the guy's face was blocked by a newspaper that caused everyone's panic, and they crashed eventually. At this moment, Mercedes Benz drove by with bright headlight. Apparently, Mercedes Benz is teasing Audi, still using traditional headlight, while Mercedes Benz has already upgraded to LED intelligent light system. In their second commercial, it's like a sequel to the first episodes. A group of mafias look alike were heading to somewhere with their car. On their way, there is a beautiful woman appear in the side way. Everyone was attracted by this beauty and forgot to pay attention to the traffic ahead. At this time, a little boy with four circles candy showing up in the middle of the road. This man break desperately with their feet and finally stop. At this time, the Mercedes Benz from behind stops smoothly for an instance. The metaphor is the Mercedes Benz is more stable and safer than Audi. In their third commercials, two cars happen to stop on a traffic light. Both sides ignited the racing spirits, and when the traffic light turns green, they begin to race. Soon, the woman driver overtook the other side. Here, apparently the mocking intention is to show that this car lost their race to a car driven by a woman, and they have to use the secret weapon in order to catch up. And the funny thing is, everyone can tell with the four rocket engines is actually hinting it is an Audi. When they finally win the race and were about to celebrate their victory, Mercedes-Benz surpassed their car in a week. Obviously, Mercedes-Benz is mocking all this technology in speed has fallen behind. They cannot even win a woman driver. BMW also launched an interest in commercials to mock Audi. In the morning, every other one from the same neighborhood is warming up their body. It looks like they are having some sort of competitions by jumping into their BMW in different styles and done handsomely. And there's a man peeking through the window feel like to be a part of this and he decided to give it a try. Unfortunately, he didn't make it because he's driving an Audi. 
BMW is saying, you can only have fun and joy by owning a BMW, not an Audi. Facing all the rivalry commercials from various brands, Audi make a clever advertisement that is as straightforward as its logo. It starts with the questions, what do you want in a car? Followed by car keys and the key rings that tells the advantage of its competitors. Like Alfa Romeo is known for design. Then Mercedes-Benz is known for comfort, Volvo for safety, and BMW for sportiness. As the keys are being placed on the key holder one by one, they ended up forming Audi's logo, making sure the audience realized that Audi has it all in one car. Audi was smart of indicating each brand's advantages rather than attacking them and then beginning an advertisement war where they all end up losing credibility. Using humor, sarcasm, parody and silliness is a great way to get your brand out there and do it in a way that makes people pay attention. But it's not a strategy that works for everyone. What are your thoughts on pointing out your competitors' flaws or making fun of their loyal followers? Good idea? Or bad idea? Would it work for your business? Share your ideas or famous fighting brands in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video.